Look, I know you're polished. You hit offensive dinks. You don't miss easy shots. You put the ball away. But can you compete at the 5-0 and pro level? If you can hit this shot, you can. Let me explain right now. Pickleball lovers, don't forget to have a good day. That's me in the long white shirt. I'm playing two lower level pros and I'm getting my, you know what I mean. If you're a beginner, so lucky to have you here at the Pickleball Pirates. You won't be a beginner for long. The problem playing with 3, 5, and 4, 0 oh, people is you don't get to practice this shot, right? Then you go to the 5, 0 oh, or 4, 5 level and get crushed because you don't have it. I'm making a huge push to play pro and I'm really working on this backhand block on the backhand middle side. It is so important and I just missed it right there. In my mind, I did not swing too much, but I backed up. I was not balanced. I should have used my left hand to hold it up a little more to keep me more balanced. See how I'm falling back? And that's a huge reason why you miss that backhand middle block. Alejandro just missed it as well. Why did he miss that? It has to be wristy if it's a little higher right. That's the time you want to use wrist. He's playing a pro and you don't have much time, so you might have to compensate with wrist against really good players. If you're hitting a high backhand counter they're really going at you right they're speeding up from below the net we have our paddle high and we need to use some wrist for this high backhand counter we really do but not all backhand counters the high one the high one not all of them not all of them not all of them mom mom i'll be right there for dinner but take a look at this backhand block right here I thought that motion was beautiful not much of a swing by Alejandro he had it he knows he missed it so what do we do to get it better and more consistent? That's what we want to do. Yep. Alejandro hits a beautiful backhand block right there, right? Beautiful. Then we get back in the point, dink and battle. And that's a beautiful block by Nick. We can learn so much. Look at Nick in the top right-hand corner. He plays a lot of pro, played Ben Johns, I believe. Really good. Look at him. He's not swinging much right here. Coming up. See, he's using some wrist, right? the backhand counter at chest or waist level. What do we want to do? We want to do this. We don't want to change directions with our wrist. That's when there's so many errors. You hit it in the net very easily, or you could go high as well. A lot could go wrong. A lot could go wrong. No video has ever really been done on the backhand middle like this. And what did I do wrong right there? I jumped. This is the number one thing pickleball players do wrong. Number one, if you're on Family Feud, say backhand block jump, and you're right. You are right. If you're a 3-5 player and get a low backhand counter, what do you always do? You speed it up, right? No! Oh! This is a great example of a really good backhand block by Alejandro in the near right hand corner. It's coming up, it's coming up right there. Just beautiful, look at that balance. He's so balanced. He blocks it down at that feet, right? That's exactly what you wanna do. He pushes them back. He's ready to keep pushing them back. Take a look at this point dink and battle and this is what's going to happen against really good 5-0 pro players they're not going to go to the same spot anymore right they're going to change it up which makes it so difficult to practice if you think your opponents are too fast they probably are so take a look what alejandro does in this point and i would recommend it let out balls go don't make your opponents look faster than they already are. <laughs> and look, so now I kind of recognize Mike's counter in me. We make this a game. I'm going to put this game out hopefully tomorrow on our channel. It's an awesome game. However, I would not recommend just to keep falling back like I am because I'm not balanced. Tough to watch. I know. That's my life, people. I'm a pickleball coach instructor, and I have to watch myself just like fall back like a, like a baby seal. <laughs> Another thing you can do if you know your opponents are faster than you, have your partner help, right? Because that forehand middle is close to that backhand middle. So I'm kind of trying to pinch in, help Alejandro out. Notice Alejandro's giving me space. He almost stepped a step back. So this really does help. Well, let's watch some pros backhand block. This is Mike Forrester and one backhand block right there. Beautiful, right? Lower. What a beautiful reset. He didn't try to speed that up. And watch him not swing at that. I know I put it away, not to point that out, Mike, but he's not swinging. He's really balanced, and his weight is just perfect. He's not falling back. He's not falling forward. And if you're balanced, you can look so much quicker than you actually are, unlike me. 
don't be like me take a look at that beautiful backhand block no wasted movement and he takes it right down the middle he's aggressive not swinging this is what you want to do i waited the whole video to show you what you wanted to do i showed you bad examples because this does help after this point mike turned to nick and said i shouldn't have hit this shot why? Because it was an out ball, right? I swang so hard at it, and he knows it, and he's so disciplined, but not that point. Yet, he still wins. He still wins. Pickleball lovers, I'm really working hard. Please click on this video. It was very good, but let me ask you something. This counter block, can you hit it? Do you agree with me? What do you think could make it quicker or more consistent? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't know, Mom. <laughs> And pickleball lovers, don't forget to have a good day.